coolest part about blowing glass is hands down the fire. I am a glass blower uh, slash artist. Some, some glass blowers call themselves just object makers. I, I like to consider myself an artist. Two thousand BC, two thousand BC, sometime around there, a bunch of Vikings were, were cooking their pots on top of the beach and had uh, firewood and whatnot. And over a period of time, they realized this material oozing out from it, which was glass, which, which was the discovery on it, was actually a mistake. Yeah, as a mom, I get a little nervous. I remember every mistake I made. But I know that he's going to do a good job, and he's going to do everything he can to keep himself safe. Very unforgiving to mistakes. I can work on a piece of glass for hours on end and it can break in that last second. Mike's work is uh, very uh, intricate. Vases. Very beautiful. Flowers. Very detailed. Dragon stem goblets. Uh, it's kind of overwhelming when you first get a glance at it. Imagine transparent lava. Man, that, that, that's more or less like glass. Okay, tell me this. How do you make a glass Christmas ornament? What I do is I try to gather a consistent amount of glass around the blowpipe, probably about maybe a pound, pound and a half of glass. As soon as I get it out of there, I, I roll the glass on a metal surface called a marver that chills the skin a little bit, kind of gives me a little something to put some air into with some resistance on the skin of the glass. The air I actually trap inside the blowpipe, causes the bubble to expand, you know, trying to shape it and make sure it's nice and round. I then knock it off onto some special uh, cotton looking stuff which can tolerate high temperatures. And I come to that, that, that's how you get a Christmas ball hanging off your Christmas tree. He's a very creative individual that has an excellent eye for color. I looked at glass blowing for probably about 20 seconds and knew that that's what I was going to do for the rest of my life. I'm kind of just zoning off somewhere. I'm kind of in my own little happy place. Uh, you blow glass for a certain amount of time, your hands kind of just do what they need to do. Basically anything can be made out of glass, and as far as I'm concerned, it probably should be.